Now, I do work with Daddario Reads. Did you know that Daddario Reads can even fix broken cameras? Let me show you. Memory card goes into the camera. No card in camera. Take memory card out. Put an old clarinet reed in there. Memory card goes in. Camera goes on. Bugger. <laughs> camera works. Explain to me, people who do photography, how the hell is that reed doing that? Heading off to Blackpool today, a little travel vlog for you. On um, Sunday, I'm speaking at St Nathaniel's Platte Bridge, which is where I did some filming for that video about my great-grandmother's first husband, Ernest Topping. Rather generously, they've asked me to come and speak on Remembrance Sunday, and they're making their Remembrance Sunday service centered around Ernest's story. I've just realized I've packed the DSLR away, so I'm going to talk to you on the G7. Anyway, kids are gonna have their lunch at school. This delivery has just arrived. When I was doing the Coltrane thing yesterday, I realised I don't have a vinyl copy of Kind of Blue or Blue Train. You know, I'm, I spoke in this log about how I was trying to use vinyl. The reason I was going for it was I want to be able to listen more to music. And I find when I've got CDs or things on iTunes, I don't really listen anymore. This was the first CD, jazz CD I ever bought. So I'm really pleased to own it on vinyl. I'm gonna give it a quick spin, but I'm not gonna be able to listen for long because I have to get, I have to get packed basically. <laughs> Four. So we've been on the road now for three hours, ten minutes. We are just to the east of Leeds and encountering one of the most infuriating parts of the British motorway network. There is masses of roadworks here. We're all in a set speed limit and there is nobody working on the motorway. I'd like to film you my chippy tea, but I am eating it all of it. So there's not many left. Very, very nice. Uh, please. So I'm actually up at my parents now and I'm heading out tonight. Whether this makes it into a vlog will determine whether how good the night is. Basically, I'm going out with one of my best mates, Simon, who was my best man. We're gonna go out around Blackpool. We haven't really done it for 20 years. And we're gonna try and remember, see, sorry, how a night out from 1997 compares to a night out in 2017. It could be a very, very different evening out for both of us. Oh, so this is while we're relatively sober. No, hang on, you're not videoing. Hey, this 
the new we were coming out tonight, so they put all the 90s tunes back on just for us. What do you mean? This is. I wanted to just interject at this point. Hang on a minute, turn the fan on. Great night out on Friday night, but I just wanted to kind of bring something to the story here. One of the great things I think about friendships, one of the time you know you've got a really good friendship is you can be apart for a long time, but you can get back together and it's like that intervening time has never happened. Now I left Black the Blackpool Fleetwood area, where are we now? 14 years ago, traveled over to New York. First of all, when I got back from New York, I realized that I just needed to move on. I needed to go to London. My target was to go down to London, learn more about Coltrane, learn more about music, you know, really, really spend a lot of time practicing and maybe get the opportunity to go back to the States again to play and study in New York. As you've seen in other vlogs, I, it was kind of going okay. First year I was doing the four or five hours a night. I uh, had a place at the Royal Academy on their jazz course, uh, played with Bramford at Ronnie Scott's, all those kind of things. But I met a girl, fell in love, and that's the whole story up there. And I'm glad, and I'm happy, and you know, this is not, it's not a, a stern tale of, of, of a woman ruining my career, not by a long shot. Then, but uh, I then moved over to Northern Ireland when we got married, because Katie wanted to, um, to go back there, and I gave it a shot. I was somewhat oversold on the music scene there from what the reality was, but I made some great friends and as I said in the Belfast travel vlog, played with some really lovely people. But I needed to come back to the southeast of England. I wanted to settle my family there and I feel settled here. But I'm not alone. A lot of other people in this area, particularly in the southeast of our kind of age group, people who are similar ages to me, a bit older, children the same age have all migrated from elsewhere in the UK. A lot of us have, have, have. You can tell I've been up north all weekend. And it's the same, I guess, in the States and other places. And there becomes, it's a great opportunity, but you miss, and we do, and I know, and I've spoken to other people about it, there is something missing about family and close friends that you wish were a bit closer, but you know why you're not living there anymore. The weird thing is, sometimes you think, um, it feels like events should have been frozen in time because you go back there and you remember how you were when you left. So I, I go back home and think that everything's 2004 and of course it isn't. Everything, everybody else has moved on. Some things haven't moved on, some things haven't changed, which is really nice. Some of those clubs we went to are very, very, almost the same as they were 20 years ago. Uh, but you know, things change, people move on and that's great. But there's a real, uh, I remember Blackpool when I was, you know, when I was very young, kind of still being this entertainment hub, you know, you still had uh, things on at the pier, you still had shows coming in, once, you know, doing summer seasons, which was great because it kept a lot of musicians and a lot of creative types around, and that industry's just completely gone now, it just doesn't exist, and it's so sad, and those kind of things were reflected in things like the Brexit vote and, and those kind of things, which I'm not going to go into now, but it was great to go home. I hope the narrative makes some sense, because um, I kind of was just what, editing it through now and I kind of thought oh, do I put something do I not put something in so I hope this helps if you're new here please do hit that subscribe button I'm going to move now on to Saturday uh, and then I'm going to let the video play out itself as a bloke if you're trying to get a beard right I've always found it quite helpful to get along and have a Turkish barber shave once every sort of three or four months it just helps tidy it up you can get you, you can't quite get it looking the way you want it to look yourself uh, just because of the way the you know, angles work out and everything else like that. So that works out. I'm heading back to Fleetwood. I am going to get the drone out and get the 24mm lens out and get hopefully some nice photos. It's quite a clear day and uh, we'll see what happens before I figure out what on earth this vlog's going to be about. It's just approaching 11 o'clock on Saturday, the 11th of November. So the 11th of the 11th. Oh,
The bombs are out. <laughs> Hey 